Dear students, parents, teachers, and all the well-wishers, how are you all? I'm doing good. And I'm back with a wonderful video today. What are your plans for New Year? We are almost in the middle of December. Another two weeks for our New Year. Do you want to be unrecognizable change changed life changed personality because every new year we come up with some resolutions yes I'm going to be like this I want to change myself I want to be unrecognizable I want to give three important aspects of our everyday small small changes not big change not a leap, but a small step to make you totally change. And important aspect is you need to start today itself. So that by end of January, definitely you will be something, a new creation. People, your parents will say, oh, my son is totally changed. My daughter is unrecognizable. Or my parents are like that. Or my grandparents, my teacher. So I want everybody to follow the simple, simple steps in three segments. In a nutshell, I want to put across. But definitely, you will enjoy every moment of this video to adopt for our changed life. First one, as always, says, time is precious. Once we lose, you will never get back. That's why... Manage your time. You are not overwhelmed. I, I hear many people say, I, I need 3-4 hours extra to finish or to organize. You are only unorganized. You need to organize your day. Wake up early. That one hour help us. Wake up early is one point. Create a to-do list. Do you have a habit of making a list? Today morning, okay, I have to drop here. I have to do this. I have to finish this task. Today I should call for so-and-so or I must go speak to that particular student or I must work with another manager in the office. Make a to-do list. To-do list. To-do list. Hyphenated. Keep that in your mind. Wake up early. Make a to-do list. Set deadlines. It's not simply making the list. Set a deadline, by evening I should finish this or by tomorrow afternoon I must finish this and stick to your schedule, don't extend, Skip. always you should stick to your schedule, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 5 to 6 play, 5 to 6 play, 7 to 8 work, homework, 7 to 8 homework, stick always to your schedule. First important aspect, first important aspect of our life is you need to manage your time. Second one, focus on one thing. Many of us, we focus on many aspects at a time. So, the result also will be like that. That's why important is everyone wants results. We all want results. School. Definitely students want good result. Parents, they want their children to get good result. Teachers, they want their subject to be good result. So, but nobody wants to be focused. This is very important. The gap between your current life and the life you want is called focus. What is our life and what is the life you want? In between is the focus. So, put 100% focus on what you really want. Focus 100% on one thing. If you want to score good marks in your 10th board exam, 12th board exam, or if you want to do your business 20% more than last year, focus on one aspect. Focus on that one thing. Instead of focusing on five aspects, 20%, 20%, 20%, focus 100% on one thing, 
you will achieve then go to the next thing third important aspect make gradual improvement we can't leap from this building to that building at a time you need to take staircase one step at a time you can't say i am at level 1 i should go to level 10 don't skip level 2 to level 9 go level wise maybe work hard for the first level then second level maybe within no time you clear second three then four five like that it's not a leap from level 1 to 10 it is step wise make always improved life better than yesterday if you don't have a habit of reading read start with reading one page today tomorrow one and half day after two pages then two and half that's how then start if you don't have the habit of writing a paragraph writing something writing books writing a note writing a journal start writing one small paragraph of four lines today improve five par- five lines paragraph six lines you will be definitely writing pages and pages very soon then start by doing one exercise per day it's not that i i need to do five exercises in 20 minutes no start with one exercise one repetition of it tomorrow two exercises or one exercise five repetitions then tomorrow another two exercises otherwise we can the improvement should be gradual this is the first first segment your time management your focus and gradual improvement the second segment is very important segment because gradual improvement always minor changes will bring us to the greater change in life many of us miss that point minor changes small small changes will take you to big result so listen to this carefully the second segment is very important segment everyone consciously cautiously take forward look at the things in a diagnostical manner diagnostically when any problem comes we look at the problem why this problem has come to me we don't focus and work towards solving the problem instead we focus unnecessarily looking at the superficial aspects of why only to me why he said like that why he behaved like this why she told me about it so instead of focusing on the negative aspects ask yourself three simple questions what am i in control of am i in control of this or is it beyond me what can i do better suppose if this is the situation what can i do better the third one how can i improve things is there a better way for me to improve these things and a problem solving mindset will help us past these blocking barriers which are helping us to elevate our life but these becomes barrier if we don't have the mindset of problem solving so we need to be more focused on this and an important aspect one is this look at things diagnostically the second is create a value network value network is whom you move along man is made in such a way he mingle with people he has a trait and behavior to mix and mingle with others to share the space and to move forward we can't be isolated personalities we need to be sociable man has to be sociable that is the creation are you with the people who pull you back in reaching your vision and mission and dream then if you are with such people move from that place always make sure that you are surrounded by the people who pull you from a place where you are to a next level who helps you rise your level of living 
or your level of your doing performance, but not the one who pulls you back. If you are surrounded by the people who pulls you back, today my simple suggestion, move away from it. Move away from such people. That's why create a value network with whom it is in your hands. You are the total control of your life. So, first, this is important segment. One is look at things diagnostically and always problems, challenges will come. It is natural for any human, we do face many challenges, but look at things in a diagnostically and create value network because it helps us to move forward. It is spend less time with people who hold you back. For everything they say, oh, don't do that, don't go there. Oh, yeah, why unnecessary risk? We are comfortable here. No. Why you want to take that step? Don't spend less time with them. Increase time with those who can pull you up to reach your dream positions. And very important segment of we change our lives for the next year is read quality books. Books have high ROI. What is ROI? Return on investment. What the value? What your investment value? You spend money on the book, you, you get the return so much. Because one book is written years and years. The author's sometimes lifetime experience is compiled in 100 pages and 200 pages and in the less time we read it, we adopt it, we learn it and we change our life. I like one author, this Robin Sharma, many people read his books, the, the monk who sold his Ferrari, 5 a.m. club and recently also in 2021, the everyday hero. I was following because 2018, 2019 after that book, uh, 2018, there is uh, his every day he posts on uh, social uh, platforms. The book is going so strong. The book is so powerful. Today I am there. I have breathed, breathed in uh, the better things to compile in the new book. Wait for my new book, new lines. Some he will be quoting. It takes three to four years for him to come up with a new book with a lot of value in it. Every three, four years you find him giving us the best books. And so much of knowledge in one simple book where you spend maybe at the most 200, 300, 500 or 700 or 1000 rupees at the most. And we have that investment which returns us with valued life, with better life, with many things of improved knowledge and personality. Start reading. Reading books totally they change your life. Practice this every day. And get into a deep work. Not superficial. If you are a teacher, deep work. Preparing for the class, knowing your children, giving the notes, correcting their papers, making the papers correctly. That is what is teacher. Deep work. If you are an office manager, make sure that you know everyone in the office. Make sure that from morning till evening what work we do, what is that office expected. If you are a sales executive, make sure that what is your product, who, who, who is that person know, want that product, whom you can sell that product, how they can be benefited, how your sales can improve. Get into the deep work. Your focus is not just the currency. How you spend it, your biggest investment is very important. And block off a few hours. Suppose if you are working, don't look at the phone, don't look at that uh, tab, don't look at that. You, you focus on your work. Few hours, keep them away. Focus your work, then you see it. Then focus on one thing. When you are working with one class, focus on it. When you are working with the sales on South India, focus on it. When you are working at sales on Northeastern states, working on, work on it. When you are focusing on one university, focus on it. 
then remove distractions. When you know that some distractions will disturb us, remove those distractions. Tell them, next two hours, do not disturb me. I am into my deep work. Definitely, it will elevate you. It will take you to a higher place. They will get you ahead of 90% of people when you go into the deep work. Definitely, you will stand out among those 90, 100. Out of 100, you stand out when you work deep work. The last but not least, very important, find your purpose. We are all human beings. We are differently created. We are talented in our own way. We have our own strengths. You can't be your friend. You can't be your brother. You can't be your sister. You are you. Find your purpose without any kind of direction or a clear plan. It's hard to live a fulfilled life. You need to know the direction. I am good at things. I, I like to be like this. My purpose is this. So direction and clear plan. Otherwise, vague. One side this time, one this time, one side, that time, one. All these distractions you will end up as no one. Nobody knows. You are, don't have the satisfaction. Everything in life becomes easier once you find your purpose and get clarity on what's next. Find your purpose. Not necessarily what your father and mother wants you to become. Not necessarily because your friend likes to do something, you also should like to know. No. Our instinct, our inner man always tell to you, this is your purpose of life. You like this. You pursue this. You work on it. Have a clear plan of it. Definitely you will be in an elevated space. These are the three kind of segments. I want all of you to learn and start practicing for next definitely 40 to 60 days. By end of January, you will see yourself as a new creation. You will see yourself as a new personality. This new year, I want all my students, parents, teachers, St. John's community, focus on these things, work on these things, have an improved lifestyle, know the value of life, read books, focus, Improvement in a st in small steps, not a quick leap, but a gradual improvement. These things help us. Think of it. Be changed for better and for your good. Be blessed. Have a nice day.